The more I think about this episode of Jojo, the more I get terrified of Kira's father. Because, again, he's a formidable force within the Jojo universe. He's a ghost that resides in the photos that he actually appears in. In essence, if he appears in the photo, he's actually able to actually walk around in it. So he actually is able to control that dimension. People think they're stuck inside that room still. But no, they're actually inside the frame of that photo because as Koichi tried to get to where Josuke and Jotaro were, once he put his hands in, his hands appear on the other side of the actual kind of room. And then when Okuyasu tried his damnedest to actually kind of get over to where Jotaro and Josuke were, to actually kind of cut the old man outside of the photo, he actually went straight into the actual glass and actually kind of hurt himself because, again, it's a different dimension. He is able to control the dimension of the photo he appears in, and this kind of leads to extremely bad results because, again, He's actually able to kind of capture the soul energy of the people inside that photo. In essence, if anything were to happen to that photo, as Josuke tried to do in this episode, in essence, he tried to break that photo because he was inside that photo. He actually realized at that point, oh Christ, we need to end this photo right now because it could lead to really, really bad outcomes. Once he actually breaks it, Jotaro and him begin to fall apart because as we understand, you can't actually harm that photo. You can't actually do anything to that photo. Otherwise, your soul energy will be kind of destroyed destroyed and actually as well the pain goes back to you so it's actually kind of interesting I was like huh the more I think about it, the more I kind of get terrified because if you're stuck inside there you literally can't do anything you're stuck he if you do anything that photo you're screwed as well really when you think about it they're at a stalemate with this person because they really couldn't do anything Jotaro was actually about to give up you're like wait wait hold on a second here Jotaro's gonna give up in this episode of Jojo now nah, fam ain't accepting this but no it's actually kind of a false sense of security because actually he was really freaking smart because what he did was he actually kind of got the photo they appeared in and actually kind of trapped the actual father himself in his own photo so in essence he controls the actual place he resides in on his own so he actually can't do anything he is trapped within that photo I thought, huh Actually kind of interesting because as you understand in this episode as well, there is something inside Kira's house because Jotaro and Co are actually inside Kira's house actually kind of find some leads on Kira, how to actually track him down. But what we understand is there's something inside that house Kira's father does not want anyone else to kind of grab or take away from him because again, the other thing to note is how Kira's father really acts because he protects his son, even though his son is this person that's beyond any sort of sympathy, he's beyond any sort of feeling other than hatred, he still protects him because he's his only son. And that's what he believes, that he should protect his son because that's his son. But still, you see the determination in him. But how it all transpires after that point, after he's actually trapped in his own photo, was also very interesting. Because as we know, Kira is actually a manipulator himself, so his father's one as well. Because what he does is he kind of says, look, I can't breathe, I need to get out of here. Like, kind of saying to Koichi, I need to get out of here because I can't breathe. And Koichi's like, oh, I'm claustrophobic, so I actually understand what he's going through. Maybe we should actually make a hole for him to breathe. But no, what happens is Okuyasu, who's stuck inside the room with Koichi, basically says, no, look, okay, He's just acting here. Don't believe him because he's just acting. He's just not, he's not, nothing's wrong with him. Don't believe him. And then what happens is he's like, okay, I'll give you all the holes you need to actually breathe. And actually puts a load of tacks on the actual photo. So he actually kind of is trapped on that wall. But that's kind of his undoing. His smartness, the kind of understanding situation, you kind of realize, oh, he's just acting, actually is his undoing. Because what actually happens is, he's like, oh, this actually will help me. I actually will be able to get out of here somehow because I know I'm actually attached to the wall. So it's actually going to help me. I was like, oh, wow. In essence, okay, actually thought, oh, he's fooling us, so I'm going to fool him, but then in theory, he actually fooled them. I was like, that's actually kind of interesting. Then Okuyasu's like, oh my god, it's my fault, he's actually going to escape, I can't do this. And then Jotaro walks in, Koichi says, Jotaro, he's escaped. And then, what happens is, Okuyasu actually does kind of grab the photo, starts to undo the tape that's actually on it. And then what happens? He actually manages to escape and actually kind of get away. And she get into the room where Joe's has actually kind of found the item in which Kira's father did not want them to find, actually take away from it. In essence, they actually find another set of the bow and arrow. I was like, huh, so it's actually more than the ones we've seen already. This is actually interesting because there actually could be more than just these ones we've seen thus far. There actually could be more scattered everywhere. So kind of leads to more interesting results. 
But the main thing to also note is the fact we got to learn more about Kira and how he actually kind of lived his life. In essence, once they're actually at the house, they kind of find leads to actually kind of track down Kira. And then we kind of find out through Jotaro about him. In essence, we actually find out about how he really lived. In essence, he didn't really kind of show anyone his weaknesses or his strengths because like that, he wouldn't get into trouble. No one actually envied him. No one actually kind of demeaned him in any way, shape or form because he just lived a normal life. He lived in third place. So like that, no one really kind of questioned him. He never stood out once. The main thing you can't take away, every single photo he actually appeared in, he never really ever stood out. He's just being Kira. Literally, there's nothing really kind of out of the ordinary about him, which was really freaking interesting. I was like, so really, you can see from a very young age, he actually just lived a normal life, a normal quiet life. But as well, the third thing to note is we got to see Kira once again. We got reintroduced to Kira within this episode of Jojo as well. We actually got to see his new life that he's living, the new quiet life that he's living with this new family. In essence, he actually kind of assumed the role of this husband of this family and kind of just living like it's normal but he's kind of acting a bit strange and his wife begins to pick up on it. What I liked about this episode of Jojo was the fact that it actually never really ever showed you Kira's face until the very second part we actually get introduced again to Kira. Because you're kind of second guessing whether or not the person that we got introduced at the beginning of the episode happens to be Kira. Whether or not we're just kind of in our brains thinking, oh that's Kira, but it's not. But the voice actor does kind of give it away. The voice actor kind of gives away the idea, oh that's Kira, because it's, he has the exact same voice actor, so you think to yourself, that's Kira. But... How they actually kind of showed his identity was actually kind of neat because they never actually showed you above his neck. You only got to saw his neck, you never got to see his face. Nothing like that until the second time we got reintroduced to Kira. That's when we actually saw Kira's face because as we understand in this episode as well, we actually got to see what Kira's hobby actually is. We have to see how Kira spends his time. And it's actually also very freaking disturbing because he actually keeps a collection of his own nails. And these nails are quite detailed in how they're kept. From length to everything like that, I was kind of like, wow. The reason he actually keeps his own nails is the fact that actually kind of tells him what condition he's actually in. Whether or not he's actually in a condition to kill, which I thought was actually really freaking disturbing and actually kind of interesting. I was like, huh. So I'm guessing the length of his nails tells him the condition he's in at that one second, whether or not he's in the condition to kill. I thought, huh, that, that's strange. That's something Kira would do. But really, the main thing to note is where Kira's life is going to head next. Whether or not he actually can keep up this persona he's living. Whether or not he actually will kill his wife. Because, again, his wife finds him very romantic now. Because once a landlord actually appears at the end of the episode kind of demanding the money, he actually uses Killer Queen to actually kind of steal the money out of the kind of landlord's bag. To actually kind of hand back to him make it seem like, oh, I've got the rent money here. But the actual wife finds him really romantic. I don't know whether or not he will actually keep this persona up until the very end of the series. I don't know, but I'm still freaking hyped. So yes, with all that said, I have indeed been the driver. Can't wait to see what happens next with this series because it's so freaking great. So yes, if you have enjoyed the video as a whole, and you didn't leave a like, do leave a like because indeed it does help me quite a bit. And if you have enjoyed my content as a whole, and you didn't leave a sub, do leave a sub because indeed it does help me quite a bit. But until next week, I have indeed been the driver and I shall see you guys later on the next review of Jojo Part 4. See you guys then.